Okay. I'm pretty sure I got this one. Pretty sure. What is up, everybody? Welcome to this week's taste test challenge. This is one I've been waiting to do for quite some time now. Now, I don't have my lapel mic on, so it might sound a little different. Apparently, after the last one I did earlier today, I forgot to shut off the receiver. So it's charging. I didn't realize that till after I got these done. So if this video sounds a little echoey or whatever, that's why. But anyway, <clears throat> I am going to be doing a pan fried burger versus an air fried burger. Now I cooked this one in a, in a cast iron skillet. I cooked this one in the air fryer. Now, with that being said, since I got my air fryer two, well actually more than that, three years ago, I cook everything in the air fryer, everything. Even, you know, burgers, everything. Instead of going out to the grill, you know, I do it in the air fryer. So, this one's going to be kind of interesting because I actually have never done one in a cast iron skillet. I've done steaks, but I've never done a burger. I've done many burgers, many steaks in the air fryer. So, we're going to see how this goes. Robert's V-Blog. Like and subscribe. Taste test challenges. Give me a thumbs up on these if you like them. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to go and we're going to see what happens here. As you can see, I have foil down on top of my turntable here. And that is only because um, I have uh, they're juicy and they're dripping. And I don't want them to ruin my turntable. To be honest with you, that's really the only reason why they are on there. So, um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, once I, since I got that air fryer, and I'll be honest with you, if you don't have an air fryer yet, you really need to get one because you can cook basically anything in those. I mean, I cook burgers, I cook steaks, I cook uh, pizza, french fries, popcorn chicken, popcorn shrimp, uh... TV dinners, you know, I mean, you can cook anything in them. Now, you you got to, if you're doing something um, that goes in an oven, like a TV dinner, let's say, you need to adjust the time and you need to adjust the temperature only because an air fryer is a little bit more stronger. So, basically, what you need to do is drop everything like 20%, and they usually turn out great. So, um I dropped in a bunch of stuff showing how I made these. I put the one burger in the air fryer. I put the one burger in the cast iron skillet. Cooked them up. I put cheese on it. I put Swiss cheese on it. Um, same buns. No condiments. Nothing whatsoever. And so we're going to see how this goes. Like I said, I love my air fryer. Um, I love it. I mean, it's, it's great. I really love it. I have some napkins here. Alright, so I'm going to start with the burger on the right, which is what I normally do, and this is going to be very juicy. Mm. That was very good. Now, I did do all my seasonings. I do salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, Montreal steak seasoning. I did it normally, you know, the normal way I make them. I just did one in the pan and one in the air fryer. There is a distinct difference in flavor. There is a distinct difference. Try that one one more time.
Okay. I'm pretty sure I got this one. Pretty sure I got this one. There is a distinct difference in flavor. One of them has a more tighter flavor, meat flavor. The other one is more, let's say, bland, kind of burned off a little bit. Now, I did do these. I, I did check it with the meat thermometer. I didn't film it, but I did check them to make sure they were both the same temperature, which they were. But I'm going to say the one on this side is the air fried one, and the one on this side is the pan fried one. The air fried, I mean, if you've never done air fried, you're missing out. You really need to do it. But I think this one is the air fried one. And this one is the pan fried uh, one. Yep. Definitely. You, you can tell. I mean, you can tell. I mean, you wouldn't think there would be that much of a difference, but there actually is. I mean, the air fryer, I mean, it just, it keeps the flavor. It keeps it juicy. Yes, it makes a mess inside the basket. That's the only bad thing. But, I mean, between pan-fried and the air-fried, I mean, there's a, there's a, the flavor difference is different. The air-fried has a lot more flavor. It is much better. It's actually better for you because you don't get all the grease that you would in a pan-fried one. So, yeah, actually, the air-fried. I mean, if you don't have an air-fryer, get an air-fryer. All right, that now makes me... 16 and 8 so I'm gonna go enjoy these this is my dinner tonight these two burgers but the air fry yeah I mean so much more flavor so much better if you like this video give me a thumbs up keep those suggestions coming because I need suggestions I'm running out of suggestions but yeah, keep them coming I'm gonna keep trying to do these and uh, yeah that's it the air fryer won that one give me a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Subscribing does nothing. All it does is it helps me out. If you want to hit the notification bell, hit the notification bell. It will notify you when I put up a new video. And that's it. It really it costs you nothing. You got to put in your email account. That's it. It won't do nothing. So anyway, guys, that's it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I will see you next week on the Taste Test Challenge series. Later, guys.